Sup, what's up? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching the channel. Welcome to the new chapter. Step inside, take a look. All right, so here we are. Picked a few things up from the MCX. Dishes, we got a Ninja Nutri slushy thing for breakfast, because I don't eat breakfast. But I've been on a healthier diet of sorts, so. At any rate, I got my pressure cooker. I got dishes, forks, that kind of thing. This is the living room. We'll see the bedrooms later. Attached to the kitchen. Yeah, I got a fan going right now. So the pads were not taken care of on the swamp cooler outside. So I should be getting a phone call here relatively soon from the maintenance guy that's supposed to come over and clean them up. They're nasty, they're nasty. No, it's not, it's not, I mean, of course I know how to do it myself. That's not the point. Point is it should have been moving, ready. Eh, they missed the spot. That's how it goes. All right, let's check out the kitchen. Nice new oven. There's my countertop. The drawers are ghetto fabulous. Look at this. Okay. Somebody uh, forgot their level one day, so they eyeballed it. <laughs> no drinking on the job, man. Right, look, there's our other cabinets. Pocket hole for a refrigerator. I might put a TV here. Don't know. That might be where I put the TV. But it's got the wall unit. Let's go into the kid's bedroom here. I think I'm gonna have them in here. The wall lights are actually kind of a nice touch. I mean, pretty decent size, I suppose. I mean, it's not bad for 925, I'll give it that. Kind of a walk-in closet of sorts, okay? Not too much of a walk-in. But it's exactly what I wanted. I was like, fingers crossed, I get some kind of, kind of walk-in closet. And I do. I got one for the kids and one for myself. I got the little light in here. Close it on up. And yeah, you got stuff for both sides. Plus some shelving. So that's kind of cool. Trying to look at the glasses being half full, all right? I'm excited about some of the smaller features here. The uh, master bedroom, if you will, isn't too, too much more bigger than the kids' room. It's a little bit bigger. Okay, decent light. And pretty much the same exact deal with the closet. It's like a partial walk-in, so that works. All right, here's the bathroom. Nothing too spectacular here, but I do like the tile. I like the tile everywhere. It's great. It's gonna make for such easier cleaning. I don't need a vacuum, this is perfect. For guys, it's perfect. Fairly new toilet as well, so that works. There's our wall heater. Yes, it is gas as well. Sorry, I'm gonna stand in front of these fans here for a minute. It's getting warm. Um, okay, so security deposits for power, I guess as far as uh, California Edison and as far as Cal Southern California uh, gas, okay. They weren't too hefty. It's all based on credit score. Mine's not great, great, but it's above average. I think around 648, 650, somewhere in there. So I only had to pay $25 for uh, towards the gas company and like 60 or 80 bucks or something like that towards the electricity. So that's freaking awesome. I kept my bills down and it's gonna go on top of the bill. So I didn't have to come up with it in cash, which is awesome. Cause that means I might be able to get one or two little furniture items. See the comment, didn't bother me, but kind of wanted to talk about it. So I was told, hey, oh yeah, really start a new chapter with his power tools and storage and, you know, uh, freaking guns and this, that, and other. That's all I got, <laughs> okay? I'm not gonna, I don't have any of the, fur the furniture that was at the house is for the kids, okay? That's, those are the kids, that's their stuff, it's not mine. I didn't buy no dang furniture, I don't have any furniture, okay? I don't. I don't own a bed, I don't own a chair, I own a military cot. I own blankets, I own clothes, okay? I own guns and my bow and arrow, I've got power tools, I've got toolboxes. I'm not bringing, uh, well, you know what, I might. I might bring the plasma cutter and the welder and the welding station here. Princess Jamie, she knows what I'm talking about. You already know, man. 
Look, I'm not going to be welding in my front yard or nothing, but when you single, when you live by yourself, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it makes more sense to leave uh, like the welder and the plasma cutter, things like that in storage since I'm not exactly allowed to be fabricating and doing stuff out here in the front of the house or the rental place. And frankly, uh, the tile is nice and new-ish looking. I'd rather just almost maybe have the storage unit separate from my rental, my place of rent, you know? I don't know that I want the shop life at the living quarters, if that makes sense. I practically spend most of my time in the shop as it is, so kind of nice to be able to come home and maybe just have something a little bit more homey feeling. Mainly for me and when the kids come over and that kind of thing, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Play it by ear, but I guess I'll start unpacking my dishes. Maybe go out to town and see what I need. At least my uh, former spouse was nice enough to give me a refrigerator, so she's going to go through and clean that up. So that works. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to being a bachelor. Something hilarious that my uh, stepdaughter told me, though. She, I, I hadn't seen her in a couple weeks. She's been at her other family's house, and she goes, "Wow." You're not nine months pregnant anymore. And I was like, nope, I'm not. I don't drink that much anymore. I eat healthier. I've been doing some calisthenic exercises for what it's worth. So I guess I had the baby the last three weeks. <laughs> so yeah, and someone said, looks like you have a black eye, bro. No, I just got really deep eye sockets, and when I get thinner, they're deeper. So, no, no black eyes, I promise you, okay? Ain't even like that. I'm just losing a lot of weight. Uh, what, a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, I was 222 pounds, and yesterday I weighed 190. So I've lost 30 pounds. Not drinking, drinking water, working hard out in the heat. That'll do it to you. Not eating a lot of bread and pastas and mostly just meats and vegetables because that's all my body's been wanting. That'll do it for you. So yeah, life changes, okay? Stress, stress is another one. I just honestly haven't been very hungry. I've had a lot on my mind. It's caused me a great deal of stress. And that also aids into just not feeling hungry anymore. More thirsty than I am anything else, and nowadays I drink more water than I do anything else. So cheers to those of you that have your agua, even if it is caliente style. <laughs>